What's going on, guys? Jet the Ranger Man here. Today, we are doing a Manage live stream. And I only ha I'm playing on my PC, so the only Madden game I have on my PC is Madden 20, so yeah. So, first game over here, let's start off with Superstar KO. So, do one match of Superstar KO. Let's get it! It's Dodge City! I'm pick, uh, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey's got more route moves than a delivery truck. Oh. I don't even know who I'm digging. Ed Too Tall Jones. Bringing his six foot nine yeah. frame to your defensive line, it's Ed Too Tall Jones. Uh, I'm gonna need a quarterback, so I guess I pick Thomas Brady. No. It's time for the GOAT. Let's do this. Dot City oh, this against the this Snappers. Bro? After this, we're gonna do a uh, uh, face of the franchise. Then we're gonna do two play nows. Aha! You made it! Welcome to Superstar KO. In this mode, man, we lay in tracks and talking smack. So if you're ready, let's get it started. First and 10, 75 yards to glory. Superstar KO time, baby. Start down with the run. And he's gonna be brought down. Got three here, but KO fans wanna see those splash blades. On second down, here's Vic. Rolling to his left. Brought down after some nice yardage. Oh, he got Michael Vick. He got Michael Vick. On first down, Vick's got it. Talks it up. The name of the game is scoring points in Superstar KO. Keep making progress. First down, going to the ground. Nice little pickup on that run. One yard gain last time. Come on now. You can do better than that. This time, we're going to throw the
I'm picking Julio. Julio Jones! Fuck that pick! Backyard Heroes against Dot City. A great aggressive catch to get a touchdown. You got through that first round. It is time to double down. It's Superstar KO. Round two. But you've been here before, so you know what to do. No, copyright. Uh, I don't know why.
soundtrack of I can't control the music playing in when I play Superstar KO that like that comes on automatically yeah I'm leaving uh, I'm gonna do a Facebook franchise one game on Facebook franchise then we're gonna do about uh, like two play now Oh yeah, I forgot. Also, every also every game mode you have it on the hardest difficulty. All Madden, bro. Bro, I gotta cheat a little bit, bro. I can't. I don't, I can't do simulation, bro. I gotta do arcade. Come on. I to do arcade, bro. Hey, yo, what's overall my uh, guy? Dang, bro, my guy is a 99. Uh, going against the Seahawks. Skip training, bro. Uh, only playing offense. Doing the color rush. CPU. We'll do near color rush. Oh, I for and I'm like in the year like 2029 20, or something, or something like that. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. I 
got to do one thing in the settings, bro. I forgot. Bro, I forgot. I forgot to, uh, let the CB, I forgot to let me, bro. Leak settings. Um, turn this off. Okay, now. Us and the Seahawks are the same overall. You know. Color rush. And then. Color rush. Okay, now I'm ready. Also, I'm putting this stream on my Madden channel, on my uh, gaming channel, and yeah, only my Madden channel and my gaming channel. Stepping out of bounds, bro. Simulation or competitive, bro. They be hitting you with that Madden, that Madden, bro. That Madden thing, those Madden, bro. They be cheating hell on them. the classic Madden. His third touchdown now on the year. Oh, the dude legit jumped in front of me, bro. See this all. Madden, so that's why the game's I got a scramble. I got a scramble. I got a scramble. Oh, Right here, bro. I might as well just scramble. Let's keep it. 
two tackles. Oh, it almost made it out of the one yard line. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Now the big play has him all the way inside the third. Yeah, 
bro, I do a bit. Shima software I have is like dog water. Cause it's gonna lag. You know, the team gears up to go again. But Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. So, so this stream might be. So, this stream. This stream might be as an upload. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Nothing open downfield, he keeps to himself for a little bit of a first. 
Point. Oh, let's go. Bro, how fast am I? Bro, my, bro, my speed is a 76, bro. I, I've been too busy upgrading my uh, strong. I've been too busy upgrading on strong arm, fuel, fuel gen, uh, general, improvised. Bro, I need to start upgrading my like, my scrambler. Bro. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm not all playing. Hex submission. Uh, I'm gonna play as the uh, Ravens. If I go, uh, that's gonna be too easy, bro. That's a good team to go against. I ain't going against no, like, super overpowered team. Like, with Brady or somebody. No. Uh, they two overalls higher than us, but it's close. All Madden. Edit uniform. Hitting them with our color, with our color rush. I'm still gonna be playing on a random stadium. Oh, I'm trying to like, get a random. Do they have like a random nice thing where you randomized? I swear I did a randomized thing before. Or maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, I really just gotta close my eyes. Bro, I hit the B button, bro. Batch the Redskins. Well, not the football team, but back then it was Redskins. Oh, Madden. And the uniform. Color Rush. Now I gotta do an animal studio. What stadium I'm playing on? By the way, I close my eyes since I don't have a face cam. I don't have a face cam. Everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden football on EA Sports. Because if I had my face cam, I'm just gonna. Thank you, coach. EA Sports coming to the NFL brings us to the Oakland, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on today between the Washington Redskins and the Baltimore Ravens. This will be the
Okay. Kicker Justin Tucker out onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Oh, and Tucker. Nice stuff, bro. I hate all oh, nice stuff. Left. Normally reliable this time, no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So an empty possession. What do you think went wrong, Charles? It looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, send this one off target. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. They run again on first down, Peterson. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Patrick on Wassour up to make the tackle. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From just shy of midfield, Keenum. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there, the first down. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first down, Keenum. He's got his man. This is Jackson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. From the red zone now, Keenum. And this will be caught inside the 10. What a grab. Nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. A first carry now for Thompson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. They'll run with Peterson. Oh, we know this dude. He breaks his way into the end zone for a Redskin touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are first Bro, up the score here this afternoon. Team. But without a doubt, all went, credit's got to go to the runner. Found his way to the end zone, but the defensive guys just not wrapping up well when they try to tackle him. And that's the thing. You've got to wrap up. A lot of times these days you see guys, they just want to go as hard as they can and throw their body at somebody. That's not old school football, though. No, old school football is fundamentals. Wrapping up, blocking your hands, and trying to get him on the ground. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run by Adrian Peterson. This will be fielded on the back Whoa. line of the end zone. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 nothing is the score as they begin with a first down. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's Jackson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't, and a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> to throw is Jackson. Letting one go 
go deep for Roberts. What's this? One on one. And that is going to be pulled yeah. in one handed. Wow. wow. A big play that time for the Ravens. 53 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Being chased out there. I think it's six points for the Baltimore Ravens. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you would take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Well, they got down 7-zip. They said, we'll go for two, one-up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It's a short kick. They can do the 18. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second and two, Keenum complete. Richardson has it. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. On first down, Thompson. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. To the ground. This time it's Peterson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the four. That one a first down pick up of eight. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now a fake on the give here to try the run pass option. And this one's gonna go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Keenum going to throw on third and one. Jordan Reed has it. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Keenum going to come up now first and ten, and he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Again, it's Keenum, and he finds the tight end, Reed, and he gets it inside the ten to the nine. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now Keenum again. And it's caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins are going to retake the lead. And while that touchdown does not get insurmountable lead it's still a lead and that always feels good to a team they'd love to take that into the lockers but a little time left on that clock so some work to do i like that i like how you're guarding against a letdown there Marty looking forward coaching them up from right up here in the booth that's fielded in the end zone and the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? And that's caught inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing, change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks that he sees and make him just a little bit more hesitant. This clearly the final play of the half, but no field goal attempt. They're going for it with three seconds remaining. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Listen. And that is caught, but the back judge right there What's is say incomplete. So we have reached halftime. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And he was legit in The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there. And that takes us from second to third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, here's Keenum. And he finds McCoy. And all of a sudden, they're walking on the door inside Baltimore at 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They try again with Peterson. And the reinforcement come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? to the end zone for Washington touchdown. Jordan Reed, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. My word, it'll be nothing short of a monstrous loss on the play. This is taken at the break. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. Throwing is Jackson. He uncorks it for Snead. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Jackson letting one go deep for Roberts. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now the gun they give to Ingram. And 
going to be brought down somewhat oh, awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. The yeah, officials so oh, cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. Goal. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard <laughs> or 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their oh, first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Escaping the pressure right. Touchdown, Ravens! They were looking to pass the ball there, but... They forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes. Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. Jackson, they'll roll him out right. Eluding the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. Kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tag and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A redskin first down, the pick up 15 yards. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Working from the gun, Keenan. And this is going to be incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson, and it's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here's Keenum to throw. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And a run pass midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 41-yard line. Keenum now perfect since the second half started. 7-7. Seven seven. It's first and 10 on the carry, Thompson. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. From the 39, Keenum, and this one completes a read. Busting through contact, just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. A gain of three. Oh, LeBron. Water break. I had to take a little water break real quick. Okay. Last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Key 26. Key 26. Key to throw on third and one. Out to the left here to read. They keep those sticks moving forward. That time with a gain of three. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. And demonstrated time and time again. Uh, uh, deep water on second. Now that it'll wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And that'll make it third down. And incomplete pass on that last play. That means he can come up with something here on third down. Trying to lay one up deep. Yeah, I saw. 
score. Win a single score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here. I certainly felt like it had the touchdown they needed. The ball on the defensive side of the ball. Okay, you got a touchdown, but sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively they were probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That would ain't a little bit of time they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one five play drive, you actually build up momentum. And even more hope. And they had to slog their way down. Good they got the touchdown, but so it's like, yeah, you know, that feel right. Exactly. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet to go for it. Get to a three-point game, and they did it. And yeah, sometimes you just throw out time and game. You don't worry about that. It's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And you felt good about what you have for a two-point conversion. And that will only down three and feel great about themselves. So out now come the Redskins. They had to go along by their last five to score a touchdown this time. They had at least a little bit more cushion field position. I have to think they just field position after what they did on the last drive. They might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Knights with a carry on second down. Even four on the carry that'll make this a third and about two. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any change of throwing? I don't think so. I think you have to climb over here. Peace out.